Jamie. And I'm Stefan. And we, and we are... are... We always had a dream to travel Australia. So we packed up our lives and began our adventure in our renovated caravan called Rocket. Be sure to tune in every week to see where our adventures take us next. So we're on the road again, and man, I forget how massive the caravan looks compared to the car. Looks funny. Uh, it's good stuff. And we're heading to some place, somewhere. I'll fill you when we get there. There's a lot of trails and such. We got some real like Windows XP sort of landscape. Look at that. So Windows XP-ish. Beautiful. So at this um, like old abandoned mine, but like it's like a thing. This town was like the uh, oldest mining town apparently in Australia. I don't know if it's legit or not. I feel like I see a lot of these signs. But um, yeah, it looks pretty old. And um, there, it's a copper mine. Maybe it's the oldest copper mine. It's kind of specific. But um, yeah, we had a bit of a look down. And check it out. There is actually still copper in the, in the rock that you can see. You know how like, ooh, you know when copper gets um, oxidated? All the oxidized copper. Little blue bits. Yeah, check it out. All the old copper still in the walls. Little bits to hear what you see in the rocks. Look at that through the center. Yeah, you can really see the copper oxide on the rocks, like over here, and like a bunch there. And it's very greeny, kind of. It's a pretty cool little, little quarry. Definitely wouldn't want to swim in it. Although it does look very appetizing. Finally found a couple of sort of shafty looking things. Yeah, look at all the copper oxide and everything. That's cool. Light it up. Oh, it's gonna be a squeeze. Sunglasses off. So much shiny stuff. Oh, that's all mold, isn't it? Yeah, it's totally all mold. I'm gonna turn back. I'm gonna breathe in heaps of mold. I wonder how far that goes though. Looks like it probably has a potential to go quite far. But yeah, I don't wanna breathe in a whole bunch of mold. 18.3 meters, they said. Deep. Some of these things. What's this one? Looks like most of them are closed in from the top. So we're being allowed to stay at a place, and when she met us, she gave us like scones and what, what is this? Um, I don't even know what jam, some jam. Yeah, like a jam. And um, jam? apricot was it? Try it. Apricot? Apricot? Give me that. Yeah, definitely apricot. And some um, some cream as well. How good is that? That's nice people. I like this town. And we're probably gonna head past that place later and mm. say hi. Mm. It's pretty cool. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. So we got to the place we're staying tonight and we're on the trail. So this trail is like around about 50 k's long one way and we're not doing the whole thing today. We're doing it in parts because good old Scooty Puff Jr. can probably do about 40 k's and it's about, about 40 k's and obviously that's you know there and back kind of deal so it's like a 100k track there if you're on there and back. So yeah, you're going to have to do it in parts, but today we're going to Clayton, was it? Or? We're going to Riverton. Riverton? And then we're going to see if we make it to Auburn or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to see if we make it to Auburn, but I don't know. We can charge at night or when we get back, which is good. There's not a lot of sun, yeah. as you can probably tell. There's a bit of sun at the there's moment, but... Else in this area, yeah, it's so a nice trail. This area is mainly coming here to do Yeah. And it's a beautiful trail. Like the landscape is, it's absolutely beautiful. Super green. Uh, it's called the the Rattler Trail. If I didn't say that already. And uh, the yeah. Other half of it's called Riesling. Yeah, other half is Riesling. So we'll um, I'll show you if there's any things that stand out. But I'm assuming it's going to be pretty much just like kind of nice scenery. Nothing stands out, but overall very beautiful. See you when we get to the destination.
it's so foresty. Pretty sweet trail. Just cuts through this whole area. There's a golf course. There's a little bridge. How cute is that bridge? Oh, look at it. All bridgeness. So it goes from there, crosses the road, you go through a little gate, and they got cows just chilling. And it just goes through this guy's farm. Hey, buddy. How's it going there? Oop, too bumpy. You're a big fella. You know you're in like a really trustworthy little town when all the fences at the primary school are like super small, there's no gates, and they just leave their bags at the front. It's like no gates or anything, just trusting, so trusting. That is not city style sort of living. I like the country. What town's this now? Riverton. Riverton. We keep going up here and then we're on the main street. Nice. Pretty cool. It's that country. One, two, three. Road train. It's through the main street. I'm in the town op shop. Check it out. There's all these cool little things. I want a gnome garden so bad. Cool little town. I love these little little country town places. Two of the trail, so we got a little bit of a way to go. We found a great park because, um, yeah, we're not gonna make it all the way. So next, we're gonna travel with the caravan and stay in the next place. So we've got done that part all the way to like a little bit further up here, and then we're parking here and doing all the way up to where? Watervale. Watervale, and then we're parking there, and then we're all oh, we're staying there the night tomorrow or the next day, and then we're doing the rest of the trail. Yeah, should be good. And then there'll be day four, which will be using more wineries. And the wind at the moment is 30 k's an hour, and as you can see, cloud, 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 cloud. So the wind's coming this way. So as long as see, it's just ended that cloud, if we go around 30 k's an hour, we'll keep sun the whole way, which is the direction of the path, which would be perfect. Just on the way back, it'll be the opposite. <laughs> it's all right. Calm down. Now the next town. The Riesling Trail. That's a nice bike path. Wait, I have an S18. What am I doing? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, sludgy. <sighs> Keep it going. <laughs> I thought I had an off-road tire. What is this?
for the place we're staying at the moment, the lady that sort of owns the place, um, she just gave us four pies, all their peppercorn, peppercorn steak, pies, super keen, still definitely warm, and um, frozen quiche, and another frozen quiche, I'm going to have this tomorrow morning. I had one this morning, oh, so good. El Dente, how good is that? Locked out, oh, so good. Just got to the new spots in Watervale, and it's, uh, it's pretty nice. The highway is like just over there, you can kind of see it. But um, yeah, it's good. I don't think we'll get any lights or anything because of where, where we are. It's a nice little spot. And you can see the road just there, sort of just goes behind all these trees. But yeah, I reckon, I reckon we're pretty safe from lights and such. I don't think anyone will really see us here. They kind of see us from there, maybe. Just the arse of the caravan. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice spot. We, um, so we were at, uh, what was the place we were just at now? Rhiney. Yeah, the last place we stayed at was Rhiney. It was quite nice, it was, it was a good spot. And uh, the locals are very nice, especially the lady that gave us all the food. That was pretty cool. And um, yeah, we said bye to them today, met them in the market. It was an okay market, it was very small. But now, today, we're doing the huge bike ride. So, well, should I say ride? Yeah. Not sure if we're quite gonna make it. Oh, I'll show you what I'm working on. So, um, because I got some from Stefan, the, you, you may remember him. He gave me his MSPs, old batteries because he stacked it and his batteries like a couple of batteries got broken actually i took out one of the cells yesterday i was listening to it and it, go, it was going <laughs> so it was pretty bad it was a little rusted and corroded at the top so i've got pretty much two full packs minus two batteries and i can make a 36 two 36 volt batteries so i can increase the, the distance of my unicycle and I can't for Nay's scooter because it's 52 volt, but I can for the electric skateboard because that's 36 volt. So I could do three times the distance on the skateboard and I could do one third extra on the unicycle. And then I'm going to make a little pack to go 36 volt and then I think a 4S pack, which is like 16.8 volts fully charged. So that'll bring it up to 52 volts so I can use it on Nay's scooter. We just have to buy a BMS. I've already made up a little charger from like a 12 volt to 16 like adjustable thingy. So then they'll be able to do a similar range. Well, she should be able to do 60Ks instead of 40. So that'll be good. Pretty good. And then, um, yeah, so that's my plan anyway. But um, got to get a BMS. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the trail and show you the cool parts. The highest point, apex. Look at that. Now it's all the way downhill ish. We've got train tracks coming through. How cool is that? From the old line back in the days. Yeah, it was back in the days. Wow, you look so puffed up. You got like how many jumpers you got on? One. <laughs> one jumper, one coat, one neck warmer, <laughs> several t shirts. <laughs> It's not that cold. The path has gotten so beautiful and sunny. Look at that. A little creek cutting through. Beautiful. And it should be a pretty sunny day from now on, apparently. But I don't know. Patches for sure. Seven Hill. And I found like a, come on, a ladybug party. Check it out. Get all over the joint. These two are banging. It's not much of a party it is. We made it this far. This far. We've only got six and eight to go. Six and eight, so we're like halfway. Okay, halfway. Yeah. Yeah, we're about halfway. That's cool, lads. Almost there. Along we go.
Oh, <laughs> casually doing burnouts. Man, it's the end of the trail. Is this really ends though? Feels like it should, I don't know, keep going? But I guess not. Any words to say about the trail? The end of the trail trail. Any words? No. <laughs> Put on the spot, I'm gonna zoom in really close. <laughs> So we've been trying to feed these things and they're like, nah, we don't want any of it. This pony just comes out of nowhere. It's like, oh yeah, free grass. They've like eaten all their grass and there's just like little bits of weeds left. Do you reckon this will entice the llamas to come over? Who's a good horsey? I have extra, extra grass. Can I pat your head? Yeah, I can. Oh, it's like dreads. Yo, what's going on, man? Oh, it's so fuzzy on the side. You gotta wash your mane, buddy. Look at that beautiful hair. He's a good horsey. Oh, there's so much hair. Look how black it is. It's worth it though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So it came off the uh, the main trail, and it's like a reservoir sort of thingy in Clare. And check it out, found a little place, place to charge. How convenient is that? Luckily I brought the double adapter, because that would have sucked otherwise. I mean, I guess not, I'm probably okay. But yeah, and is a bit under half. Oh hey! But it's not too bad, like she's not, she's only a little bit under half, so I feel like she would kind of possibly make it home, I don't know, but either way, it's good. How nice is this park though? I actually really like Claire. Claire is a nice place. Like the other town, the other towns are nice too, but I don't know. I feel like this is a little, little more foresty and mountainous, if you know what I mean. So Claire is going on the uh, possibly could live. There's a bit of farmland out here, or like land anyway. I don't know farmland. I don't want farmland. Just like forests and such. You know how it is. What was that? I oh, my... Huh? Oh, you slid it out. What, the front wheel? Oh, that's cool. Why not? Why not? No. Woo, holding strong. Nice. Beautiful. So we just found this out, look at this. Now you can, like, do it, close your hand with this one and open it again. Look at the, the tendon goes, can you make it go to the side again? Oh, crazy, crazy stuff. 
Look at look at mine. I can't do any of that. I just have open and closed. Why you move your finger? I I can't like. Yeah, look, look. Oh, it does too. Oh mine my god, it does really too. Awesome. Look at that. I'm not just closing my fingers. You move to the side. Oh my god, that blows my mind. Oh, that looks so weird. Straight is so much normaler. You thought it was normal just for me. Oh, that looks weird as. <laughs> what is life? I was how old? And I found oh, out my fingers. I was 30 years old, 20, 29 before I found out my fingers could do this. And off to the side. Oh, that's weird. There's such a ridiculous amount of these like little water crossing things. It's a long one. Whoa, that's deep. It's one of these country towns that he leaves his electric bike unlocked and has even his garage beeper on it. Look at that. That is so trusting. I love it. Got a lot of country town. How cool is that little thing? And they've got these random uh, like solar lights. Just randomly, like super weirdly placed. Go on. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yes, I made it do it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh man, they're so ugly. <laughs> Go up, go up, go up, go up. <laughs> I love that they do it as well. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> totally smashed it out. That's the whole trail done, and it's not even dark yet. It's getting pretty close though. Can't believe we finished it. So how many k's is that all up? 55, I'd say. 55 k Runios. Yeah, so we technically did 110, but over three days? Three days? Yeah. Yeah, over three days. Pretty good. Pretty good. We need a little charge. I think you probably needed that little charge. Yeah. Because you probably wouldn't make, make it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, two k's. Let's roll. Home time. Diesel heater. It's so cold. Oh my god. So we made it home. And we're staying like just, just around the corner there. And um, we found this little convenient PowerPoint. It's gonna rain for the next like four days. So yeah, charge all the electrics and not drain any of our battery. Cause this is supposed to be the last sunny day. I'm just gonna ride back, <laughs> how good is that? And uh, yeah, so the next day is gonna be, next four days I think or something, are gonna be pretty rainy. Today I think was the last sunny day and the sun is just going, beautiful sunset. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna leave the car here, let it, let it charge them up and ride back later on, pick up the car. So that was the Riesling Trail. Oh man, how good is this video? It's so nice, the way the sun's hitting the water. Anyway, so that was the Riesling Trail. It's uh, very amazing. I definitely recommend if you're in the area to do it. It's uh, it's pretty long, but there is towns sporadically sort of placed around along the trail. Um, we did it obviously in winter, but uh, yeah. So the, the next place will be is some like foresty place. See you there.